the question is, what will Michael Dokes do tonight? Well, Monty Cohen says he's going to knock out Razor Ruddick within three rounds, and he's a pretty shrewd boxing guy. In watching Michael Dokes' return, the fast hands have been there, Gil. The question is his legs and his stamina. He seems to tire very early in fights. Well, again, this fight is a more serious fight for him. He's been up in the mountains. He has trained hard. I was surprised at the weight. That bothers me. Razor Ruddock seems to be ready to go. We'll go to ring announcer Ed Darien for the introductions. From New York City's Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, Murad Mohammed. Madison Square Garden Boxing, Bob Goodman, Vice President of Boxing and Matchmaker, and Pat Fleming, Assistant Matchmaker, along with Thomason World Corporation and Victor Potemkin, present Fighting Mad, the World Boxing Association Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship, scheduled for 12 rounds, and is approved by the New York State Athletic Commission the Honorable Randy Gordon Chairman, and is sanctioned by the WBA, the Honorable Murray Goodman, the Supervisor in Charge. The judges, Don Ackerman, Harold Letterman, and Billy Costello. Counting for the knockdown seconds, alternate referee Joe Santarpia, the timekeeper to bell, is Cecilio Pedraja. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 12-round title bout, referee Arthur Mercanti. And our boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the red and gold trim. He weighed in at an even 230 pounds. This young man has 22 wins, one loss, one draw, with 15 knockouts. He is currently ranked number two by the World Boxing Association and World Boxing Council, and number four by the International Boxing Federation of the World. The former Canadian heavyweight champion, a native of Jamaica, West Indies, and now residing in Toronto, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, Donovan Razor Ronak. Ronak. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the white trunks. He weighed in at an even 240 pounds. Now this gentleman has 41 wins, two losses, two draws, with 27 knockouts. He is currently ranked number four by the World Boxing Association and the World Boxing Council, and number five by the International Boxing Federation of the World. The former World Boxing Association heavyweight champion, a native of Akron, Ohio, and now residing in Miami Beach, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Michael Dynamite Dukes! Dukes! Quite a reception for Michael Dukes, who appears to be all business, Gil. Boy, Sam. He's been, what a mean face, that would scare me, and he's been staring at me while they've been walking around the ring. I don't know whether he's scared him or not. It would scare me. Let's keep your cool, my friend. Scheduled for 12. For the WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. But more importantly, a showdown, and almost what you might call an elimination on, bout to go. get in line for a title shot. Well, Sam, you have to give both of these guys credit. There's so much at stake. And unlike the, the current uh, way of thinking about boxing, once they get up in position, they don't want to fight any, anybody. Here are these two guys, two top flight contenders, fighting each other. Give them both a lot of credit. Ruddick in at 2.30. And looks good. And don't seem to know at 2.40. Doesn't look all that bad, Gil. Legs look strong. Upper body looks pretty firm. I'm looking for Dokes to throw that right here counter over at Ruddick's jab. Yeah. 
Another advantage that Dokes has in this fight, he's been through this pressure many, many times before. Ruddock, good left hook by Ruddock. Solid left, solid left hook. <laughs> Razor Ruddock with a large following down from Canada. Reporters, friends, the Canadian, family. Canadian ambassador is here, Sam. Canadian ambassador to the United Nations, I believe. It's Guy Fortier in attendance. Razor Ruddock, born in Jamaica. Lives in Toronto. He's been working in Florida, training in Fort Lauderdale. And Ruddock has a beautiful build for a heavyweight stand. As we mentioned, he seems to have it all. But again, he's throwing out that lazy left jab. He has to snap that jab. Looks like Ruddick loading up, looking for a big punch. I'm waiting to see if Ruddick's going to use that right hand, Sam. So far, he hasn't. Dokes well known for his hand speed. And the fact that he can pull oh, punches together. There's quick, a short, short hook. left hook. Well, Ruddick cannot afford to get inside with Dynamite Dokes. Dokes is too experienced for a Razor Ruddick inside. Dokes picked off that jab. Again, Ruddick loading up with the left hook. Measuring for the right hand, but doesn't throw. I don't think the Dokes isn't looking to throw that right hand over Ruddick's left hand. Shark jab by Ruddick. Solid left hook. Sam, I think a significant right part of that round was the fact that Razor Ruddick did not right. throw one no, right hand. Don't let him rush you into anything. Use your feint. Try to draw him into a lead. You know what I mean? 68-year-old Bill Slayton training Dynamite Dogs. Former now trainer low, Kenny Norton. Make him come down with his punches. Let's take a look at that Ruddick hook. He feint, feints the jab and throws that left hook. Wide left hook and it caught Dogs right on the nose. And it's interesting, as you look at it in slow motion, if Dokes keeps his hand up, hands up, he picks it off. He drops his hands, and he gets tagged with it. Here again, they're using an ice bag, Sam. Not an end swell. Oh. Seconds out, gentlemen! Round two, scheduled for 12. And Sterling McPherson and Tommy Gallagher in the baseball cap. Let's get the slow. Come on, Working gentlemen. in the corner of Dynamite Dokes. <laughs> I think the key to this fight is for Ruddick to keep Dokes on the outside. But again, he's going to have to use that light right hand. He's not going to be able to beat Dokes, at least I don't think, with one hand. But you know, the fact that he did nail Dokes with that left hook makes Dokes susceptible to the feints. I've seen him flinch already in this round when, when Ruddick... And again, he lands a left hook that rocks Michael Dokes. That's where Dokes will be most effective with those hooks to the body. They want him to work the body and bring those arms down. And still, no right hands from Razor Ruddick. Not a one. And you know, when he lands that big left hook, if he threw a right hand behind it, might be an early night. This is not the way for Ruddick to fight Dokes. He's not going to outsmart him. Shot 
jab. Well, every time Ruddock lands a punch, you can see the effect it has on Michael Dokes. He big, winces. He feels the effect. Big, strong young man. That time, that left hook was a little slow and a little wide. Sam, you have to set up the hook. You've got to throw a right hand, even if it's just to set up the other punches. This is where Ruddick does not belong on the inside. See that, but Ray, that short left hook that stunned Razor Ruddick. He's a little shaken by it. Dokes opening up. Sharp left. Doesn't belong inside, Sam. This time he backs Dokes up at the end of the round. Second time in the fight that Ruddick has finished spin. the round big. With a big punch. Let's take a look at this counter by Michael Dokes. Good left hook to the body by Dokes. Another short little left hook. There's that left uppercut, and there's the counter by Michael Dokes. You can't be inside with a Michael Dokes. His hands are too quick, and he has too much experience. But again, Sam, for two rounds, we watched the one-handed fight. Yeah. It, I believe I picked up James Morton. Talking, there's the right hand by right Razor hand. Ruddick. A straight right hand that rocked Dokes back. But I thought they talked about saving it till late in the round, but now he's using it early. Again, Sam, even if he didn't land the right hand, it gives Dokes something else to look at. Makes, makes the left hand more effective, but he has to throw that right hand. Don't slip. But if he would have nailed, if he would have nailed Ruddick with that counter, Sam, I think it would be an early night. Now, Ruddick, very effective, fainting now. Now that he's thrown a couple of right hands, He's trying Dokes to get has to respect it. He's trying to get Dokes out with one shot though, Sam. The punches are a little wide. Put a left hook to the body by yeah. Dokes. See, you can't stay inside with Dokes. No question about that. He's got to stay outside. Gotta use those legs, use that mobility. See, there's that counter by Dokes again. And another good left hook to the body. Why Ruddick's inside, I'll never tell you. Ruddick looking for an uppercut, but missed. See, there's the chance we could drop that right hand into that, into that double jab. He threw a straight right hand and a right uppercut, and Ruddick comes back strong. And Dokes was wide open for that counter left hook, but it just missed. I don't, just do not understand why... Ruddick isn't using his superior mobility. Another good left hook to the body. Good left hook by Ruddick. Two good left hooks by Ruddick. Solid punches. Sharp jab. Ruddick lands the right hand. That hurt, Dokes. And another one. He's hurt, Sam. Dokes is hurt. Now, Ruddick, give himself a little room. But he doesn't, and it's Dokes coming back. Stop pushing, Razor! 
I just don't understand Ruddick's strategy. Had him hurried, all he had to do was give himself a little room, wing another right hand. He's willing to stay in close for Dokes. And Dokes with the short punches is much more effective than Ruddick. And it's been much more effective on the inside. he's gaining in confidence now that he's thrown it a couple of times out for round four how do you have it scored through three Gil? i have the fight dead even sam i have coach ahead Gil. i think i gave him all three rounds so I thought all three were very, very close. Oh, good counter right by Dokes. Right now, Ruddick is fighting the wrong fight, not using his legs at all. would go out in that fashion. Well, Sam, Michael Dokes has one of the best chins in boxing. That's why this is such an impressive performance. He's a big, young, strong, mobile guy. They want to know where the next heavyweight champion is coming from. You may be looking at him. This is the man who so badly wanted to fight Mike Tyson in Edmonton in November. Tyson pulled out of that fight. The Rudder camp feels because they found out that they had too much on their hands and thought they could get a softer touch in Buster Douglas. Well, for him to be able to pull out of that fight, it's okay to be ill, but when you get well, you're supposed to fight the guy that you signed the fight, not just pass him by. This kid, you have to give him all the credit in the world. Went in that ring, was ranked number two in the world, took a chance on his ranking, everything else, but he had confidence in his ability, and so did Yurad Muhammad, his promoter. Wow. Great performance. Donovan Razor Ruddick knocks out Michael Dokes right, in the let, fourth round. Let's take, let's take a look at this, Sam. There's the first left hook. That wobbles him back pretty good. He's hurt now, standing up, and, and he missed the right hand, but he threw it with everything he could. There's that left hook oh. again. And look at this, One Sam. More. Oh, man. He was out after the second left hook. And the third one put him down and out for the night. Sam, we mentioned if he throws that right hand, even if he misses it, here's the left hook. Now watch him throw the right hand, Sam. See, he misses it, shifts all his weight out to his left foot, and there goes those devastating left hooks. What a performance. Face the jab. It's that left, left uppercut. It's a, 
And misses the right hand, back with the hook. And here comes the, here comes the coup de grace. And as we said all along, look at the power and the force generated by Razor Ruddick when he throws his punches. Phenomenal. Now the concern is for Michael Dokes in the corner. Well, they have the oxygen in the ring now, Sam. The great medical staff here in New York. Razor Ruddick in jubilation after the victory. Now Michael Dokes still down. Two doctors in attendance. He is conscious. He has been talking with the doctors, but they have not moved him. And this, is, of course, is a very serious and delicate moment. As uh, they're giving him the oxygen now, Sam. The medics are in there. There is tremendous concern for the brave fighter, Michael Dokes, who has come so far back. In his battle to overcome drug addiction. To take nothing away from this man, Razor Ruddock. They're saying they're no longer giving him the oxygen. I think he uh, said he was okay. Well, he is conscious. He is talking with the doctors. I think he wants to try to sit up. What a stunning finish. And now you see Michael Dokes trying to sit up, and that is a great sign. Michael Dokes is knocked out. A stunning finish. He is conscious. But he was rocked by three left hooks from Razor Ruddick. And Razor Ruddick now puts himself right in line for a title shot. All right, now let me ask you this question, Sam. Could it be that he looked too good? You think maybe a Buster Douglas or Mike Tyson may look at this guy and say, hey, forget about him. I'm going well, to circumvent him. Well, I think what he does is establishes himself as a big money fighter. I think you can say, wait a second. Well, Mike this Tyson. Is a, this is a big money fight for, for any champion. If, if Douglas successfully defends, if... Holyfield should go on and win a title. This is a the number one contender right now it, behind Evander Holyfield. I, Holyfield, I fully expect, will get the next shot. But I think this is the next man right now.